Hello, welcome to Astronautics for Exports. This is Dr. Ayanshola Ogunele. In space gas stations drivers and imaging companies, facilitators of new space infrastructure and revolutionary space technologies. The focus points are as follows. Spacecraft refueling via space gas stations and space gas station drivers and imaging companies. Over the years, Technology has been harnessed by the government space agencies and private space industries to push space exploration boundaries. This has enabled humanity, whose creativity has no bounds, to explore the cosmos, the moon, Mars, and beyond. Also, it is helping humans to gradually move towards and closer to becoming multiplanetary, live and work in space. In space gas stations, which was once a safe, has been made possible by several companies working towards the actualization of refueling expired or unserviceable spacecraft in orbit. This is helping to extend their end of life and leading to increase in return of investment for the investors. Various groundbreaking inventions and innovations have been made by the in space gas stations drivers and emerging companies such as OrbitFab, Astroscale, Sysloon, Monster Space, Atomospace, Think Orbital, Transastra, and the host of others. Based on spacecraft being limited to the amount of fuel they are launched with, which limits flexibility and poses long term risk to the space environment, OrbitFab is aiming to eliminate the single-use spacecraft paradigm with in-space refueling. Astroscale is developing innovative and scalable solutions across the spectrum of unorbit servicing, including live extension, in-space situational awareness, end of life, and active debris removal. In order to create sustainable space systems and mitigate the green and hazardous buildup of debris in space, Sislon is building Lunar Fuel Factory, enabling the future of space commercialization by producing and supplying crucial lunar-derived propellants and developing key technologies in lunar construction and in-situ resource utilization. Spacecraft refueling via space gas stations. Generally, satellites contain up to 75% of mass to propellant needed for orbit insertion racing and maintenance, as well as manoeuvring and deorbiting. Spacecraft refueling helps to free up mass budgets, trade for mass for payload, and save money which could have been used for spacecraft replacement. Design concept for orbit fabs tanker mounted on the spaceflight Shepa in transit to gestationary orbit is shown in this picture. When spacecraft run out of propellant, they either burn up in the atmosphere or are sent to a graveyard orbit. If they run out unexpectedly and cannot refuel, they become dangerous space debris. Reverting spacecraft help to minimize space debris. Reverting the spacecraft gives more data V, which helps to increase revenue potential, extend spacecraft lifetime, enablement of faster laser deployment and correct orbital insertion inaccuracies. The orbit general expansion architecture spacecraft design for in-orbit servicing of satellites is shown in this picture. Space gas station drivers and imaging companies are OrbitFab, Astroscale, Sislon, Manasto Space, Atomo Space, Think Orbital, and Tras Astra. Based on spacecraft being limited to the amount of fuel they are launched, which limits flexibility and poses long-term risks to the space environment, Orbit Fab is aiming to eliminate single-use spacecraft paradigm with the in-space refueling. Orbit Fab is supply water to the International Space Station and launched the first commercial fuel depot into Leo. The company's rafting refueling interface has become the industry standard. 
illustration of orbit fire fuel depot, tankers, and other infrastructure needed for in space refueling of satellites is shown in this picture. Orbit fire believes that spacecraft refueling is critical to a thriving and sustainable in space economy, one that will benefit humanity for generations to come. The company is committed to realizing this future in partnership with global industry, academia, and government. Rapid 5 designs, plans, and executes refueling services. The operation starts with the required docking and refueling hardware to mission optimization. Orbit fire refuel satellite is shown in this picture. Refueling services of Orbit Fab consist of reusable fuel shuttles that vary far from storage depots directly to rafty equipped spacecraft. Placement of Orbit Fab shuttles and depots is derived from analysis and modeling of existing and future satellite clusters performed by the INAS Empire software. Poppy, Orbit Fab first in space refueling demonstration was used to show the space industry that the company could back its futuristic feature with rare hardware. Illustration of Orbit Fab market driven fuel logistic network is shown in this picture. The working principle of Orbit Fab is to integrate Rafter to the spacecraft. Rafter is a cooperative docking and refueling interface that replaces customers' existing fuel and drain valve. In order to enable on orbit and ground testing, it supports both on orbit and ground refueling and designed to last in June and beyond. Orbit Fab mission planning software is used to architect optimal refueling logistics. Illustration of Orbit Fab refueling working principle is shown in this picture. Astroscale is developing innovative and scalable solutions across the spectrum of on orbit servicing including live extension, in-space situational awareness, end of life, and active debris removal. Astroscale offers operators and launchers choices and flexibility across the spectrum of on-orbit servicing. Astroscale's concept of operation is shown in this picture. Presently, Astroscale is developing an in-space refueling vehicle that will shuttle back and forth between a fuel depot in geostationary Earth orbit and the clean satellite. The refueling vehicle will carry and transfer hydrogen to its clean spacecraft, rather than the clean having to maneuver to a fuel depot that is space gas station, allowing clean operations to continue uninterrupted. Illustration of Astroscale in space refueling services is shown in this picture. Sislon is building the Lunar Fuel Factory, enabling the future of space commercialization by producing and supplying crucial lunar-derived propellants and developing key technologies in lunar construction and in-situ resource utilization. Sislon provides research to prepare lunar sites for landing and habitation, from landing paths to infrastructure. Rendering of a lunar-based camp is shown in this picture. Water extraction and regular processing are essential for long-term habitation and open the doors to the rest of the solar system. Sislone is developing several technologies to beneficiate water ice and useful methods from the lunar regolit. Sample rendering of Sislone tech extracting lunar resources to produce rocket propellant is shown in this picture. Manastu Space is working on technologies that will make space safe, sustainable and accessible with agile, efficient and affordable means. It is developing satellite refueling technologies that will help to increase the life of a satellite, provide mission flexibility and enable different business models. Concept of Manastu Space first station in outer space is shown in this picture. Atomo Space is developing technologies for in-space transportation and logistics services, live extension, inclination reduction, and mid-life relocation services for spacecraft refueling or delivery and attachment. 
Atomos plan to commence in-space logistics services with Quark Orbital Transfer Vehicle starting in 2024. Artist's impression of the singing astronomer mission is shown in this picture. Think Orbital develops large, scalable, and cost-efficient structures for the in-space economy. Think platforms are based on mature technologies available today. Satellite servicing, space debris processing, in-space manufacturing, and a bit storage for a depot are some of the use cases of the Think Abidu's Think platforms. At this impression of Think Abidu platform for in a bit for a depot is shown in this picture. TransAstra has made groundbreaking inventions in four core capabilities, which are very vital for asteroid mining, such as detect, move, capture, and process. The company is building business around each layer of the tech stack. TransAstra's business plan starts with the transportation of satellites to orbit and extends to refueling rockets with resources harvested from asteroids. At this impression of TransAstra on a B spacecraft concept is shown in this picture. For more information, contact Astronauty for Export. You've been watching and listening to in space gas station drivers and emerging companies, facilitators of new space infrastructure. Presented by Dr. Ayanshala Ogunene with the focus points spacecraft refueling via space gas stations and space gas station drivers and emerging companies. Thank you.